IoT has for a long time used open source software. Um, IoT is a modern take of embedded software development and it's basically bringing embedded in more spaces. And open source was always a convenient way for people to get started. However, using open source software uh, for embedded designs can be really challenging at times. It, you have to own pretty much the whole platform and it involves advanced usage of cross compilation, targeting different platforms, uh, bootloaders. What we aim to do at Canonical is to lower the bar for people to bring IoT devices to market. We're trying to make embedded simple. It shortens the product design lifecycle and it basically removes the need to reinvent the wheel. You can just take an on-rails operating system that is production ready and get started quickly. You can focus on your applications, you can innovate on the hardware, innovate on the software, but you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So we are at uh, this SPS Drives event in Nuremberg and um, Bosch Rexford has just announced uh, ControlX Automation and ControlX Automation is a very interesting data-centric platform for people working in automation. It completely changes the game in how people are going to develop automation in the industry. Mainly because it's based on open source and open systems. You can program in any language, you can um, use APIs, you can share code more easily. It's basically all the comfort you have on a Linux system uh, with a modern platform on top. We're really proud to be working with Bosch Rexroth on uh, making this platform possible. We provide the operating system layer and Rexroth has done all the uh, high level APIs and, uh, and platforms on top of the operating system to empower their use cases. Um, and we think it's a great collaboration. It's showing exactly how we want Ubuntu Core to be used as a vector for people to create their own ecosystems. It's basically a building block so that you can have your own market, your own collaboration space between people, whether they're creating open source software or whether they're creating proprietary software, they can run them on an open platform at the edge. Uh, Rexroth is demonstrating advanced functionality uh, to drive field buses uh, with real-time capabilities and uh, a Linux real-time operating system on top of the hardware. But really what they're demonstrating is a software-defined future. Even if new field buses get invented in the future, they'll be able to extend the platform with support for new buses uh, with just a software update.